Hey guys, it's Scarlett at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this paint by line mermaid. First, I'm going to go in with a tan color and just paint um, all of her skin, just her face and arms and her belly. And next, I'm going in with the color Chocolate by Dixie Belle and painting her hair. And again, you could do this however you wanted to and paint her hair and skin color, whichever color you wanted to. But I have brown hair, so I chose brown. And um, for her tail, I'm actually using the color Mermaid Tail. This was the first time I had ever used it, and I thought, what a better opportunity to paint uh, with Mermaid Tail than on her Mermaid Tail, and I really love the color. Um, next, I'm going in with the color Limeade, and just painting her top. And again, you guys, everything on this product is paint by line. So I'm not freehanding any of this, and this is not drawn on. This is etched into the product. Um, so it's super easy to paint. Um, right now I'm going in and painting her, the flower in her hair in the color Peony. And after that I'm going in with the color Soft Pink and painting the center of the flower. And after that, um, she's been completely base coated. I tell everybody the first step of a paint by line is to just base coat everything. And then after that you're going to go in and start to do some of the details. So now I'm going in with a number zero paintbrush and some watered down black paint. Um, for this, I really like to use the um, Apple Barrel black paint because it's just a, a naturally runny paint. And um, it just helps your brush to go a little bit further whenever you're doing this detailing. And all of this detailing I'm doing, you can kind of see, especially on her eye, this is already etched into the product. So I'm not freehanding any of this. I'm kind of just letting my brush fall into the grooves that are naturally cut into the product. And now I'm going in with a painter's pen and just outlining um, the cutout. I like the way um, this kind of finishes the product for me. And now I'm going back in with that number zero brush and the color cotton, which is Dixie Belle's whitest white. And I'm just kind of adding some highlights to brighten everything up. This step is definitely optional, but I really love the way it makes everything look. Um, kind of makes her look like the sun's shining on her. I think it's super cute. But you could definitely do without it if you didn't want to do this extra step. And after I'm finished with that, you guys, I'm done. This is so easy. It would be super cute for a birthday party or your little girl. Or I even personally would love to have this on my door. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And make sure to have a great day. Thanks for watching.